Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with Mobile Tech Videos back again with our Galaxy Note 2. Today we're going to take a look at a really crazy themed out ROM. So yes indeed, uh, like I said, crazy themed out ROM, but I think you guys are really going to like it. This one is the Amnospherum ROM, and it's brought to our device by senior member over at XDA, Michael0617. So big thanks to him. We'll get this started up here. This is a 4.1.2 ROM, uh, it's Deodex zip, zip line rooted, all the good things. There's some things to keep in mind when flashing this ROM, so be sure to read the instructions over on XDA <clears throat> to get the lowdown on the best way to flash this ROM. This ROM comes with the Aroma installer, and there's a couple of things you need to pick in there depending on which carrier you're using, uh, Verizon versus AT&T, things like that. So be sure to check out the thread. As always, I'll put a link down below uh, to where you can find this ROM. But like I said, crazy themed out ROM. It is 4.1.2. You have the ink ripple effect there. As always, I added the Nova launcher, but you do have the two launchers. There's the home as well as TouchWiz. We'll look at the home launcher here. as it loads up so this launcher is really pretty cool uh, just has a few settings but really cool transition animations like if you see it starts to pull the icons one at a time as I pull them across here has several others that you can check out the really interesting thing about this ROM is uh, the crazy theming as well as the animations, the transition animations. Uh, for example, we hit the menu, you see it pops in from the side, and if we back out of it, it shoots up to the top. So just really cool. And if you saw that there, if uh, an application is loaded into memory it pops right in but if it's not you get this kind of cool fading in from the side effect like when I open contacts here you know kind of fades in from the side that's really cool once you're loaded into memory though it just pops right in now you'll see here some of the cool theming I was talking about got the uh, mask colorful masks there and these are different options that you can choose in the aroma installer you can uh, pick the way the dialer looks the background in the uh, settings as well as the drop down as well as the drop down notification here you can choose the wallpaper the notifications are popped off with that drop shadow so it looks like they're just floating above the tiles there and then these are all uh, customizable of course you can change the order and what toggles show up at the top I've taken off most of them because I don't use them and just left pretty much just the main ones that I use and rearranged them the way I wanted as well down here at the bottom has the carrier ID the carrier logo and when you touch that bottom bar it changes color so just really cool things like that this launcher has themes that you can check out we'll go back into the settings here and just the settings menu has been themed down here at the bottom your about phone 
can take a look at. Now when I flashed this, I went through the Aroma Installer. I chose all the options that were recommended by the developer. And if uh, I didn't change anything, I just kept hitting next, next, next. If I had to choose like the kernel and things like that, I chose the one that was recommended. So if you do that, then this is what you get. You see we have some options below the about phone here. This is where you can customize the toggles. You have a DSP manager, the exposed framework installer, and customize the DPI density. Other than these few additions down here at the bottom and the really crazy but awesome theming that you've got going throughout this, uh, it's pretty much stock I haven't had any issues. I have lost network signal several times. Uh, I'll be doing something and then I'll go to send a text message or make a phone call and it will say that I'm not connected to the network. I'll look up at the top here and I've got the little uh, circle with the line through it indicating that there's no network. And it stays like that for a few seconds and then reconnects to the network. So that's probably a kernel issue. I could try another kernel. Like I said, I just picked the one that was recommended. But other than that, I haven't had any issues with battery drain or uh, force closures, restarting, anything like that. I took a quadrant standard test. Uh, I'll show you a picture of the results for that off to the side there. And I took a bunch of close-up pictures of this ROM. I'll also be showing those. S Pin functionality works just fine. There you go. Definitely different ROM with the transitions you've got here. Just really pretty cool. Definitely worth checking out. But that's it for me, guys. This is the Amnospherum ROM for the Galaxy Note 2 on AT&T. Be sure to check it out. Have the link down below while you're there. Be sure to hit that thanks button. And don't forget to check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help out. But anyways, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Sam. I'll see you next time.